Thank you. Um, I'm asking myself, Mr. Borrell, what you're going to take from here as a conclusion of this uh, debate. Um, in my pers personal view, I think there is an enormous unity in this, uh, in this parliament. Besides uh, some people of the extreme left who are still thinking that uh, the Soviet Union exists, and besides uh, a part of the extreme right uh, financed by, by Putin, I think all the rest has a huge unity. And I think that the conclusion of this debate, if I can give a, a, an advice or a suggestion, is that we need a more robust strategy of the European Union. It's true, you did your job, and maybe more than is possible with 27 uh, ministers of foreign affairs, but the conclusion of this debate is we need a more robust stance. I was on the uh, 20th of February on Maidan 2014, when in the morning 49 people were killed by snipers. And I've seen in the eyes of these people how they belong, in fact, to Europe, or want to be in the European Union. Their future is there, not with Putin. Even for those people who speak Russian huh? in Ukraine, they don't want that Putin comes in. So I think we have to be more robust. We need to do more. First of all, maybe use the uh, European uh, peace facility to do a common transfer of defensive weapons to them. We could do that. We have the, uh, the, uh, the, the instrument to do that. And finally, and then I, I stop, Ms. Hautela, because I know that you have a, a strong instrument with you, your hammer. Uh, that is that we need also a pro-Russian agenda. Because Putin is not Russia. And there is there an opposition with Navalny who needs our full support because in the end there will only be stability and security in Europe if there is a democratic Russia at our borders.